Welcome to Tiffany Leung at home. So today I make everybody's favorite is pho ga, is chicken pho. Okay, so you can see here I have all the herbs here, lemons and bean sprouts, and here you go, my bowl of pho. So let's look. And we have the um, onion with vinegar, and then also the sauce, the ginger sauce. So let's see the noodle. If you like what you see, oh, yummy. So before you're going to put everything out, you're going to remember, put some herbs. And also for a guy, I like to eat with um, rau ram because it's the most important to for a guy is eat with rau ram because it tastes better. But some people like the basil and some people like different herbs, but I like mine um, with the rum. So here, there you go. Delicious fuga. So I'm gonna taste it before I teach you how to cook. <laughs> so here, put some lamb on it, okay? And put some bean sprout. Mmm, there you go. So I'm going to, oh, yummy. Okay, so first, before I take the broth, I'm gonna take the chicken, dip into the ginger sauce. Mmm, yummy. Take the little broth. Ah, so delicious. So come with me, I teach you how. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to make pho ga. That means is pho with chicken. It's delicious and the way I cook for a long, long time. So I'm gonna turn the stove in a high heat. My chicken is already clean with salt and it's already finished, clean and ready to go. So I'm gonna put the chicken, it's a whole chicken, and it's the right Vietnamese way. So I'm gonna turn, there you go. So in the pot have two uh, gallons of water already. So the water, it kind of um, look warm, so it's not hot, it's not real cold. So I'm going to put, and I'm using, and you can use the regular salt, but my family, we like to uh, use the pink salt, okay? So I'm gonna put in that chicken, I've just put in the water, two teaspoons of pink salt. There. Okay, because I want the chicken is real tasty um, after we are done. So then I'm going to put two teaspoons of mushrooms seasoning. There you go. Um, you can use, you know, you can use any seasoning uh, you like, but I like the mushroom without MSGs. Our family, we don't like to eat MSG. So that's why we don't, we never use them. So I don't like MSG. So I've just put mushroom seasoning. Make sure that mushroom seasoning don't have an uh, MSG, okay? So I'm going to just put in that water and the chicken just like that. And I'm going to put that back to lay back like that, okay? So we're gonna cook for 30 minutes until it's boiled. And then I will teach you how to put the seasoning in. When it's 10 minutes, you can see all this bubble on top of the water. So this water is boiling. So in high heat right now. So I'm going to put still high heat until I can get all this white bubble on top here. So, you know, it can be a, you make sure the water is very clear. So there you go. Um, I cook pho ga, chicken noodle, is I very, um, make sure the, the broth is really clean. So I'm going to make like, um, I make for my kid all the time and the original one. So I'm going to show you how to, so I'm going to put, see, you see, get all the water, all very clean, very cleared. Okay, so right there. So I'm gonna cook another, okay, uh, 15 minutes. Depend on the chicken you buy. This is um, uh, farm chicken, so it's organic chicken. 
So I like uh, for guys the best to do um, farm chicken um, that is more tasty. And it, it takes a little longer than cook than a regular you buy at the store, but it depends on you what you like. Um, so uh, right now, uh, 10 minutes. So I'm going to put on the side. So I put now, uh, turn another side and put that down. So I didn't put anything in here yet. It's just salt and um, mushroom seasoning. So right here, so I'm going to make sure is the water very clean so now the chicken is on medium heat right now so i'm going to prepare all the herbs so i have in my store a lot of um rack i'm going to put onion and i'm going to put ginger okay so depend on how much um you like so i like Mine is a lot of ginger, so because chicken love ginger, so I'm gonna put there. Okay. So meantime, I have that going on, and I'm going to use another pan. And what you need to use is you're going to get this um, herbs. Um, you can buy a head and I'm going to show you how, um, how what it look like, okay? So here we go. So I'm using right now a little uh, pen. You can see a little pen there, okay? So I'm get the, my, um, here's a seasoning. You can go to um, any Asian store you can get and it's like, it's called Yavi, no pho, it's right there, okay? So it have all different seasoning for you to cook easy for you. Um, for myself, sometimes I mix my own, but this is great to make one pot um, pho. Uh, it will feed around 15 to 20 people. Um, so, you know, you can use all that if you need, but today I only make one chicken, so I'm going to use more than half um, a bag, okay? And they have a little sack right here, okay? So you can put it on. For me, I like to, um, I like to kind of um, preheat first, and then I go wash them, okay? So I'm going to, let me turn the, my ginger here. Oh, it's beautiful, okay? Now, then I turn my onion. If you get it burned, you can wash it off. If you don't get, you know, just make it the, um, make the smell smell better. Uh, you can wash them, uh, so that way all the black uh, one going out. So you can um, put in a pot and you can wash them. So now my ginger is good. So I'm going to put in this water. So I'm going to wash them. The ginger is uh, the onion is not burned, so I put directly to the water. Okay, I'm going to have another one. There you go. So you keep cooking like that. Alright, so now I am going to do the seasoning. So I'm going to put kind of low, I have a little pot there. So I have um, cinnamon, okay, then I have uh, starred in, and I have um, sig, I have cylinder, sea, almond, fennel, glove. So all this stuff, I put it in here. Usually, I do my own. But, you know, for you guys, you can buy the one like it's already, um, already packing for you. So it's easy for you. Okay. Um, in the part of pho, it's very important to have all the seasoning. So, um, to ready for you. So it's a medium heat. And I put right there. Get the spoon. Okay. 
and I put all the bus seasoning into that. There. So I'm going to kind of heat up and get all the smell out. Okay. In the bugga, I don't put a lot and it's starved. I only put three or four because you don't want it too much and then um, it doesn't take that chicken. So I put it in there, stir really well, and it kind of, oh, it smells so good. That for me, then I go wash them. So I don't like, I wash everything, so make sure it's all clean and um, so there. See, kind of like preheat a little bit. Mm, uh, the aroma is just amazing. Okay, that is great. So now I'm going to wash them. All right, you can see my chicken broth there and my chicken, oh, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna turn my chicken again. So make sure it's all cooked through. So now I'm going to put my um, onion and you can see it's very, make sure you wash really uh, if it, you have a black, um, you know, skin, stuff like that. So wash it off so that way your water is not um, dark. So you can see how clean that, so it's so beautiful. Okay, now um, I have, remember all my herbs and all different herbs. I already clean up and everything, so it's all wash them. Uh, now I'm going to put into uh, the bag, so that way um, you can put into the water. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you can see my water there. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So you get the bag. Okay, so all my earth is clean and washed already. Uh, because you don't, you don't know what they put in the sea. If they wash it yet. So I always wash them and uh, clean them real good. And it's already preheat. Um, so it's going to be, when you add into the pot, it's going to be so beautiful smell. So here, so I'm gonna put all of it in the bag like that. So they come with a bag, and if you use half of it, when you're done, you just wash the bag and then you can reuse again. So all that in there, so put all the herbs in there. And I always put the um, little container there so I don't make a mess. So here you get a little bag like that, and you're going to pull like this, so make sure. And then I tie it, so I'm going to tie like this, so make sure it's no, it don't spill out um, the pot, so I'm gonna do it like that. So there you go. So I do it again. So you put like a, a your finger in and make a little hoop and then you just tie. Okay? Easy. And I chicken um uh make got a for guys really easy. Okay? So you put that and then you go into go into the pot here. You're going to drop it into the pot. You see how clean the water and it's right there and I cook another 20 minutes, um, okay? All right, after I put all the herbs, onion, gingers, and I just start all that package in, I'm gonna pour cold water into the pot. So I'm gonna cover there. There you go. So I'm gonna put cold water, and about half a gallon of water. Then I'm gonna add two little rock sugar. You can see rock sugar there. So I'm going to put two pot rock sugar. Then I'm going to add, so you can see all my um, beautiful right there. So you can see the pot, gorgeous, right? Um, it's just, then now it's still medium heat, okay? Then I'm going to add, so make sure the water cooled down a bit, not boiling. So you, I'm going to add three teaspoon of fish sauce in. Okay, there you go. So now it's all seasoning and everything. So I'm gonna keep it 
medium for 10 minutes and then I'm, I'm going to check the chicken and if it's done, I take it out, then we're gonna cook a little bit more. Okay, after 15 minutes, so I'm gonna check the chicken and you can see I put the chopstick inside so it's perfect it's all done so I'm going to take it out now depend on your chicken uh, what kind of chicken you have some chicken 15 20 minutes is done so this one is the whole chicken so this chicken I cook for 30 minutes because it's organic chicken so it's all done so now you can see the broth is so beautiful uh, now you're going to make a low heat make it low heat then keep it there until you eat or keep it there at least another 45 minutes in low heat so that way you can have all the um all the herbs or the onion or the ginger will break the aroma and also it tastes much better so right there so um after um about 40 Five minutes, I will taste it again, then the fuga is done. Now I'm going to show you how to make um, fuga. It's a good fuga and the original fuga. You have to have ginger, um, fish sauce with ginger. So you can dip into the, um, the chicken, into the the ginger with fish sauce so it's a very special it's a lot of places they don't um, do that but in my family because I cook for my family so we cook, you have to do a regional you know so chicken is go very well with the um, uh, fish sauce with ginger so you just chop uh, if you have a blender you can put in a blender but um, I make very small amounts, so you don't need to. You don't need to make a lot because um, you only put in the in the plate very little, so that way they can dip. Some people will pour the ginger into um, their bowl of soup. A um, lot of time, restaurant uh, who specialize in um, in pho and uh, you know pho, the chicken pho. See they. They usually uh, always have this sauce, but some people, well, they might not um, have them. So um, if you go into um, going a very regional place for for pho, um, the for you know pho gas. So they if they specialize in pho gas, they always have the fish sauce with ginger. The ginger will bring out the taste of the chicken very well so you just chop like again if you have a blender you can do i just go in and i like a little piece i don't like it's too fine so you can just using a knife and go back and forth like this there you go I'm gonna put on the side and here just only need one garlic because uh, this sauce you don't need a lot of garlic so I'm gonna put just one garlic <laughs> you know um, some people always ask me I have this long nail how do I cook with it you know I do everything with it so no excuse if you don't you know say I can't cook Yes, you can do anything. Um, so I cook, I work with my nail and I love to cook, but I also love beautiful. So, all right, so here's the pep uh, red pepper. Just cut in slice like that. I'm not chopping it, okay? And it looks very pretty. So now, let me wash my hand real quick. All right. So now we get all chopped off and everything. So now we're gonna make the sauce, very simple sauce. Um, you're gonna put two teaspoons of sugar, okay? And three teaspoons of soy sauce. Let me see where's my teas. Okay, use this one. So have one teaspoon I mean, fish sauce. <laughs> Three teaspoon fish sauce. Here you go. 
there. Okay, I'm going to stir. This tastes a little sweet, a little um, um, salty with the fish sauce, like that. Okay, and a little thick. Okay, then I'm using half of lime or lemon, whatever you have. Okay, and also it depends if they're very liquid or not. Okay, because sometimes the lime is not too, didn't give you much juice. There you go. So it's kind of thick like that. So I'm going to taste it and see if I make, um, add anything. Ah, perfect. All right, so I had two teaspoons of salt, uh, sugar and three teaspoons of fish sauce, okay? So, and then also half of lemon, a lemon or lamb. So I'm gonna put the ginger in. And the garlic and the pepper. And you always add lamb, so that way it's um, put on top so it's very pretty. There you go, so thick like that. So they can bite into the ginger and the sauce dip with the chicken and you will see later. There you go. So, so you gonna have already ginger with fish sauce for. All right, now I'm going to show you how to um, play the pho. What I have here is pho. I soak in water for 30 minutes. And then now it's hot water right here. So I'm going to dip it in. So it, it's gonna cook faster. So you see I swirl around like that. I make sure the noodle is just right. You don't want it overcooked. So it's right there. And here's my bowl. And I'm gonna slide that noodle into that, okay? So I have the noodle already. So it's on the plate like this, okay? Now I'm going to put chicken. Ah, uh, depend on uh, how much love you love that person. So, <laughs> so you can put many you like. So I'm going to put um, the chicken there. So it look like this. So you have chicken and noodle. So you see my broth right there is so clean and cleared. And um, now I'm going to turn the high heat on. So you make sure the heat is very high. So that way you can pour the water into um, to the broth. Um, some people will put onions and everything in it, but I don't, I like to put after. So right now I'm gonna take the onion on top of the broth in here. Okay, and then again, rem um, remember, you need if you leave the pot overnight or later need to take this out, okay? Because you don't want to leave it in there overnight. The broth will turn darker color. So now is well heated up, very hot. So I'm gonna pour the broth into the bowl, just like that, very hot. Okay, so there you go. And the, you can see the broth is so beautiful. There. This is chicken pho. It's a pho ga, okay? Now, I'm going to put onion and cilantro. Like this. Okay, then put some white pepper on it. So there you go. So you have a wonderful, wonderful bowl of pho. So if you like what you see, put share, like, comment, and duplicate it, cook it for your family so they can enjoy.